rescue crews are called to the Delaware Water Gap National Recreation Area for someone who is in distress in the water. That's why the Park Service is reminding people about the importance of wearing a life jacket. Newswatch 16's Emily Kress shows us what counts as a life-saving device. The Delaware River looks inviting on a sunny day. As summer heats up, officials with the Delaware Water Gap National Recreation Area know more visitors will be flocking to the park. We want people to come out here, have a great time. That's what we're here for, right? To be able to provide those recreational opportunities for all of the visitors who come out to enjoy the fantastic Delaware River. For years, the Park Service has offered life jackets to visitors at places like Smithfield Beach. Kathleen Sant with the National Park Service says all too often people go out on the water without one. Since 1971, 104 people have drowned in the Delaware River. Of those 104 individuals, not a single one was wearing a properly fitted and fastened life jacket at the time of their death. The National Park Service is really driving home the message of safety. These new signs posted at popular swimming holes are a stark reminder about what could happen if you go out on the water without a life jacket. Drowning is a once in a lifetime event. That's it. You don't get a second chance, um, and so we really want to remind people that this is something that they should and need to take seriously um, when you're thinking about getting in the Delaware River. Sant says on average it takes search and rescue crews three days to recover a drowning victim. So wearing a properly fitted life jacket can make all the difference in preventing another tragedy. But she says not all flotation devices are created equal. The label will always tell you whether or not it, it can be used for that purpose. So for example, this really fun inner tube that I found on sale, right? This one tells you right here. This is not a life-saving device. Park officials still encourage people to enjoy their time at the park. Just do so safely. Emily Kress, Newswatch 16, Monroe County.